Yeah, the season's going really well. Found consistent levels this year. The consistency's been key to the success. So we're sitting fourth in the Scottish Premier League, and we've got by far the lowest budget in the Premier League. So it's a huge credit to the staff and players at the club. Originally, I bought a machine myself to try that out, so we could line the park. Didn't quite work out. It was very, very difficult if you've not got that skill set. We used to get somebody to come down at nights, turn the floodlights on at 10 o'clock at night and line the park. Wasn't quite working out the way we hoped it was going to work out. Um, so we got the tough tank in. You need someone who can drive the tractor and who can brush the park on a daily basis and that's what we do. So where we found that we were a little bit light was we were getting outside agencies to come in and line the park. Now, I've just explained about the first team using the park during the day, then the academy used the park and then the women's team. So trying to fit in when you actually get an outsider to come in and line the park was very difficult. So you've got the weather element, then you've got the darkness coming in, then you've got the temperatures as well that you've got to take into account. So you had that window probably from one o'clock to four o'clock and most companies were charging an arm and a leg for that to happen. By getting Tough Tank in, straight after training, it allowed us to line the park with the, the personnel that were in the building. So the groundsman, as such, he's not a groundsman as in what you would be, a groundsman looking after a grass park. He's not got these skills. Tough Tank, the robot, actually does it for us. So we need somebody to control the robot, but it's all pre-programmed. So it allows us to line the park at the optimum times for us. The flexibility for us has been brilliant and the quality of the lines that it's putting on the park are far superior than what we maybe have got doing it manually. So the lines are kind of that I think there's a tolerance say one or two mil, which is kind of building construction tolerances and that's the fine lines that you're down to. So it's very, very accurate and easy use, it's user friendly.